Hey everyone, it's Lisa from the blog FarmhouseOnBoon.com where I like to share food from scratch, natural living, and our handmade home. I've noticed that in a lot of my tutorials on fermented foods and recipes, people have asked me questions about the particular items that I'm using to do those things. So today I wanna to share with you my top 10 kitchen essentials. So these aren't gonna be in any particular order, but I wanna share with you what I use in my kitchen all the time. I'm gonna leave out obvious things like silverware and knives and cutting boards. One of my most used essential here in my kitchen is definitely mason jars. I have them in the small pint size wide mouth. I have them in the quart size wide mouth and not wide mouth. And then most importantly, I have them in the half gallon jar size. So I'm gonna explain why I have all of these and use them for different purposes. So first for the large size, these are crucial in my real foods kitchen. I use them to ferment things like kefir. I also use them to make sauerkraut. I have a jar going over here in my kitchen, so I thought I'd show you. Perfect for that. And then we also use them to serve drinks in. We just use these lids like this that have a little straw opening. And what's so great is these can fit on any of these wide mouth jars. So they can fit on the quart size wide mouth, pint size wide mouth, and of course they could fit on the half gallon size. And so my kids, I'll put a smoothie in here and then I'll give them like a straw like this, like a wide mouth shake straw. And so then that's how they get their drinks. What I also love is you can switch out the different kinds of tops. So I also have these um, pickle top fermenting lids. Those fit in these rings. And then of course, obviously the regular lid fits in the rings. And then we even have some plastic lids in both the wide mouth size and then the regular size too. So those are great. So I like that these are so versatile and you can use them in so many different ways in the kitchen. We use them for drinking jars, fermenting jars, storage as well. So whenever I finish a batch of kefir, it's stored in the refrigerator in one of these jars. My husband takes smoothies to work in one of these. Also use mason jars to make things like vanilla. Also found these lids that fit on these that have a straw top in them. So mason jars are so key for me in my real food kitchen, for sure. I also have a very basic cheap blender. I've been using this Oster brand for years. This is also pretty versatile because these not wide mouth jars can actually fit in here. And so I like to make things like salad dressings or smoothies, and you can just put them right in like this and not dirty something up and then just remove it. So I really love things in my kitchen that can be used for a lot of different purposes and pieces can be interchanged and mixed up because then it doesn't feel like you have a unitasker that only does one thing. And what I also like about this is that it's glass. So a lot of the nice blenders on the market are made from plastic and I try to use as little plastic in my kitchen as possible. And then it's so cheap that if I break it or part of it breaks, I can just go get one for like 20, $25. The next kitchen essential is a food processor. So this is the one I have had again for years. It is the Hamilton Beach Wide Mouth and I like it for making sauerkraut because I put this top here that has the little shredder discs on here. And then when I feed the cabbage through, it just can take care of a ton of it very quickly. And also the reason I like this one is it's wide mouth, so it can fit in quite a bit bigger amount of stuff. I also use this thing for chopping nuts. So whenever I'm gonna make granola, I just throw this blade in here and chop nuts really quickly that way. I don't use this thing on a daily basis, but when I do need this, it's very essential in my kitchen. I talked about not having unitaskers, and so the reason I like my Instant Pot, which I have had now for about a year and a half, is because it can both do the work of a slow cooker and a pressure cooker. And then it also can make yogurt and bone broth. And so it can do so many functions that I can justify having this humongous thing in my kitchen. Another thing I really love about it is the insert here is made from a stainless steel. I have read bad things about crock pots and things that they're coated with on the inside that aren't so healthy. And so I really like that this slow cooker is just stainless steel. And like I said, I can use it for so many different things. If you're gonna make yogurt in your kitchen, and especially if you're gonna make really gut healthy yogurt where all the lactose is fermented out, so for 24 hours, this is the only way to do it really, really, really easily because it keeps it at that consistent temperature without having to worry about 
wrapping things in towels and keeping things a certain temperature. It does all the work for you. Also makes bone broth a snack. So another essential in my kitchen is stainless steel pots. I have had these since my wedding shower, so 10 years ago. They are in excellent condition. For things like steaming vegetables and cooking soups, I really love using these still, even though I love cast iron. For liquidy things, a nice set of stainless steel cookware is essential in my book. And again, I love things that are high quality that they will last for a long time, so I'm not rebuying things all the time. A lot of these things I've had forever. I've just been using them putting them to work. In a recent video, I confessed my love for cast iron and shared all my tips on how to season it and clean it and cook with it. So obviously, this one has some stuff on it, but I didn't clean it because you don't have to. Cast iron is an, a kitchen essential for me for sure. They stay out on my stove at all times and I use them to cook every day. These have both already been cooked in today and I don't need to clean them because they're not dirty enough. They will just be used again for dinner. My 12 inch one here is the Lodge brand and I will be linking all of these below, the exact type that I use. The next one is something a lot of people have asked me about. If you watched my videos, you've seen in the background of pretty much all of them, this big stainless steel jug thing. This is my Berkey water filter. Several years back, I did some research on what would be the most economical way to filter water and the healthiest. I decided that this would be the best option just based on how long the filters last, how much water it can filter, and then what impurities it actually does remove. So the reason I love my Berkey is you're able to get the normal standard filters, which they are the black carbon filters, but then also you can buy a separate set of filters, which I can show you here. You can see these white filters. These are the fluoride and arsenic filters. Fluoride is not something I want to drink, and so I can remove all of that with this Berkey water filter. Yes, it's a bit of an eyesore sitting out on your counter, but it does the job and I want healthy water for me and my family. And since it's so close to my sink here, I just use one of my half gallon uh, mason jars to fill up the top just daily and then it filters through to the bottom. And then it's also nice because the kids can reach it and get water for themselves any time of the day. Another kitchen essential for me is glass storage. So my cabinet is full of different shapes and sizes of glass storage containers to of course store leftovers, which we are a family that definitely eats our leftovers. Usually after a few meals, there's been enough accumulated that I just throw all the glass storage containers from the refrigerator into the oven and warm it all back up. And it's kind of like a smorgasbord of food. In my video about whipped body butter, I had a lot of people people ask me about this mixer and what kind of mixer it was. Again, I bought this thing years ago and the reason I like it so much is the dough hook. The KitchenAid mixer has this too. But what I like about this brand, this is a Bosch mixer. It can hold a lot. So if you're making a sourdough bread, instead of having to knead it all by hand, this dough hook does the trick of kneading it. So you just basically turn it on, walk away, and it kneads the whole thing for you. So I knew that for me, this would be a major time saver. And not only that, it can make a lot of loaves at once because it has a really big capacity. It also, of course, comes with the cookie paddles and like the beaters. So I use this occasionally for things like that. But pretty much this is for bread making. And although it isn't used a lot in my kitchen and it is sort of a unitasker, I like how many years it has held up. And not only that, it makes the job of making bread so doable, whereas before it was such a hard, uh, difficult task. I wanna talk about the plates that we use. So when my husband and I were first married, I registered for a set of ceramic dishes that were really pretty. And after we had kids, uh, we found that all of them were broken because I don't like to give the kids plastic because I think when you heat up food on plastic, all the bad chemicals that are in it kind of leach into the food and I don't want to do that. So I needed something that I could give my kids without them breaking it. And that is why I love uh, Corel dishes. So my uh, husband's grandma, she kind of keeps her eyes peeled for us whenever she goes to thrift stores. And so we have all kinds of mismatched Corel, but I don't care because this stuff is great. One, they are so thin that they don't take up much cabinet space. And another is they just aren't that breakable. But my toddler can drop this off of his high chair and it doesn't even shatter on our wood floors. Now I do know some people who have ceramic tile floors 
and they still do break from that height. Definitely not completely shatterproof at all. We've definitely broken a few, but they've been dropped many, many, many times and not broken. So to me, they are far superior to the plates that break no matter what you do. If you just set it down too hard on the counter, they break. These are not like that. And so they are perfect to me for kids. We have all kinds of mismatched bowls as well. I will link below some Corel dinnerware, but you can keep your eyes peeled for these at thrift shops and they will serve you well for many, many years. Those are my 10 kitchen essentials, things I use all the time in my kitchen that make my life just so much easier to prepare these traditional real foods that I love to make and ferment. What do you think? What would you add to that list? Thank you so much for watching this video. I'm gonna link all of these kitchen essentials in the description box below so that you can see where I find these things and also things like the lids, those will be linked as well because those are super handy. If you're new to my channel and you enjoy this content and other food from scratch, natural living in a handmade home, please be sure to hit that subscribe button. Thank you so much for stopping by the farmhouse.